Hey guys, it's Kay, and in today's video, I am decorating my plain tote bag with ideas inspired by Ive's new song, Love Dive. I got my bag from eBay, but I'm pretty sure they will be easy to get your hands on. First, I chose this photo from the music video to create an embroidery of Ive. I had to choose this scene because it was my favourite part. I used the app Procreate to adjust the opacity and trace the outline of the members on a new layer. The colour black was best for a clear outline. I used my Apple Pencil to trace the key features of all the Ives members. I made sure the outline was pretty simple because I wasn't comfortable enough stitching small details. Check your outline by removing the layer with the photo. I was pretty happy with mine so I decided to embroider the exact pattern on my tote bag. When tracing the design onto my bag, I turned off the light in my room so that I could see clearly. Insert the screen inside the bag and position it where you want the design to be. I used my glasses case to make the surface of the fabric flat and smooth. Using pencil, I carefully traced the design onto the bag. This step was a bit difficult because the fabric was pretty thick and I couldn't see the design underneath clearly. Make sure your screen is on full brightness for the design to be more visible. When complete, Turn on the room light and check if you have all the details. Mine was missing a few so I added them by referencing the photo. The outline doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to go over it with thread anyway. I used black thread for the embroidery. I won't explain the details in sewing because I'm also in the process of learning, but I am pretty sure there are a lot of tutorials on how to sew on YouTube by other professionals, so please refer to those if you need. I just went up and down with the needle with no special technique, and made sure there were no blank areas. I found it that it was easier to handle the needle if the length of the thread wasn't too long. This would prevent tangles. Just the embroidery itself seemed too plain, so I decided to add badges or pins using shrink plastic. Shrink plastic will be available in most art supply stores, but I bought mine from eBay. In my previous video, I used shrink plastic to make keychains of crunk, so if you are interested, go check it out. I gathered some photos from Love Dive's music video to create the badges the same design. Place the shrink plastic on top of the screen and tape it down so that it doesn't move. I roughly traced around the edges with pencil. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect because you are going to go over it with coloured pencils. Trace around all other designs you want your badges to be. Next, 
it's time to color the designs. I used watercolor pencils for mine, but any type of pencils are fine as long as it doesn't smudge easily. For this heart, I tried to make it seem like it was glowing. Here are all of the designs I coloured in. Next, put them in the oven for shrinking. Place them one by one with no overlap so that they don't stick together during the shrinking process. Here they are. Personally, I really liked how they turned out. Next, add pins on the back of the plastic charms. I used super glue to do so. Apply a reasonable amount and stick it on. For some of the big charms, I stuck on a larger pin. Let it dry for a few minutes. Next, I use gloss to coat the charms. This would prevent the colours from smudging. When applying the gloss, I was afraid that the colours would dissolve since I used watercolour pencils, so I carefully dabbed the gloss on without trying to smudge the colours. Luckily, this method worked and I was able to save the designs. Once the gloss is fully dry, finally we can decorate the tote bag. I placed the charms to see which position was the best and tried out different arrangements. Once I was happy with the design, I stuck on the badges one by one. I think that the good thing about using badges is that you can change the design anytime you want. So here is my final tote bag. I really like how everything came out.
So this is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe.